the rich variety of regional cooking is alive and well, preserving some of this country's culinary history. Today, we will be exploring the flavours of Tuscany. Considered the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance, Tuscan cuisine is quite unique and even differs between the provinces. To create a classic pasta dish, of course you need pasta. And rather than pick up some dried spaghetti at the supermarket, to experience the cultural flavours of Italy at home, you're going to need to make fresh pasta yourself. Anybody who has eaten Italian food will recognise the essential herbs and spices that add unmistakable characteristics to any dish. The most common herb in Italian cooking is basil. Crushed basil leaves combined with oil, garlic and pine nuts create the famous pesto sauce. Basil is regarded as the perfect complement to the flavour of tomato sauce and works well with pasta. Another herb used widely in Italian cooking is oregano. Offering a complementary flavour to basil, it is also commonly used in tomato-based dishes. Of course, garlic features heavily in Italian cooking right across the country. Fennel seeds lend a distinctive aniseed flavour to roasted meat or fish. Rosemary makes a wonderful addition to roasted meats and vegetables. Often included in salads and dressings, sage is probably most famous as the key herb in Saltamboca. Italian parsley is recognisable by its distinct flat leaf. Parsley is used in many meat dishes, soups and stocks. Italian food is most richly flavoured with herbs, but of course some spices do feature prominently. Coarse sea salt is used across the nation, although some regions, like Tuscany, use it very sparingly. Fresh dried black peppercorns, saffron and coriander feature prominently. Nutmeg is used in savoury dishes and desserts and vanilla is a popular dessert spice. Ginger is rarely used in Italy, although it is very popular in the Apulia and Basilicata regions, showing just how diverse the cultural flavours of Italy are. In Italy, wild mushrooms have always been a favourite part of the local cuisine. With mushrooms available everywhere, anybody can make this dish at home. You may even want to splash out on a famously expensive ingredient. Italy is said to be one of the healthiest nations on the planet. And this is in large to do with a healthy diet, rich in vegetables and vegetable oils. Of course, the most important vegetable in Italian cooking is the tomato. There are many varieties of tomato that are used in soups, sauces and pasta dishes. Brought to Italy in the 18th century, the tomato has become synonymous with Italian cuisine. The Italians love fresh vegetables and are famous for their salad dishes. Brought to Italy in medieval times, cucumbers are now part of Italian culinary culture. Root vegetables like carrots, radish, turnips and beetroot all feature prominently in Italian cuisine, as do onions and leeks. Cabbages, cauliflowers, spinach and rhubarb are also part of the Italian diet. Squash and pumpkins are often used as an accompaniment. Bell peppers and potatoes also have become part of Italian food culture. Melons, like cantaloupes, named after the town of the same name near Rome, are often presented as a dessert. Asparagus is a common ingredient in many Italian dishes. Mushrooms are highly regarded in Italian cuisine, especially in the provinces in and around Tuscany. Of course, Italian cooking features all kinds of mushrooms, especially the porcini mushroom, but you can use local varieties in your own Italian-inspired dishes. There are hundreds of types of pasta, 
but generally authentic pasta is made from durum wheat flour or semolina, which accounts for its yellow tinge. Durum wheat is believed to have been introduced to Sicily by the Arabs in the 7th century, and pasta has become the national dish of Italy. Of course, fresh is based, and authentic Italian pasta has texture and flavour characteristics that is difficult to replicate with dried alternatives. Having said that, there are a multitude of dried pasta options that keep well, so it has become a staple in many kitchens across the world. Italy produces 25% of all the olives grown globally from hundreds of varieties of olive tree. Olives in the south of the country produce the majority of olive oil thanks to its climate. In the north, due to the frosts, olives must be harvested much earlier so their yield is much lower. Olive oil is often used like butter as a topping for bread and for cooking. Olives are eaten on their own as an accompaniment in salads and also cooked dishes. Italian meals often feature breads and there is a wide range to choose from. Italian food is rich with tradition and there are few foods more traditional than biscotti. In a world where food is more often just consumed rather than savoured, Italian cooking has shown the way with simple, elegant dishes, uncomplicated flavours and lightly seasoned sensations. Join us next time as we take you on another gastronomic journey so you can experience the tastes of the globe at home.